Yo, what's up? It's SNT, and you're watching the bike show. This is the weekly series. We check out some of your amazing bike builds. If you want the chance to get your bike featured, all the information is down in the description and on the screen right now. Send them in to SNTBikeShow at gmail.com and not to my Instagram account. And if you have not already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a future video. But now sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and at the end, let me know in the comment section down below which bike was your favorite. But now moving on to the first bike of the day, which is a super clean Husqvarna SMS 125 from Norway. The bike is equipped with a brand new HGS full system exhaust Husqvarna VR125 cylinder and a V-Force 4 reed valve. And in terms of styling, it has a KTM EXE headlight, KTM SMC 690 front fender, one gripper seat cover, a red pro taper fat bar with white pro taper grips and some fresh plastics. I wish we had some before pictures so we could see the full transformation and also how it looked before. But I think we can still appreciate how good this bike looks and I think you did a great job with it. Marcus, thank you so much for sending it in to the show. Next up we have a bike that you're most likely familiar with which is Niklas aka NTK Lives. 2016 KTM EXE 450 6 days super moto project. This bike has gone through a lot of different stages, from having zero hours on the clock when he bought it brand new in 2016, to becoming a fully built super moto stunt bike, to having the engine blow up into a million pieces, and then to become the legendary super moto it is today. First, he turned it into a fully stunted out super moto. He somewhat kept the factory look while still adding a lot of parts to the bike, including stuff like motor master brakes, supermoto wheels, stump brake, and a foot plate. Then moving into 2017, he decided to make the bike stand out and be more unique, so he got a custom zebra themed graphics kit, which looks absolutely amazing and definitely transformed the entire look of this bike. In 2018, it was time to give the bike another updated look, and he ended up getting a blue and orange graphics kit, which looks pretty cool. But sadly, later that year, he ended up blowing up the engine, so the aftermarket crank rod he had installed in his engine ended up snapping and completely destroying the engine. Thankfully, Powered by JJ came in and saved the day by rebuilding the engine and also tuning it to have even more power. For the 2019 season, it was time to change up the look once again, and this time he went for a custom zebra themed black and fluo orange graphics kit, which looks absolutely amazing. I've seen this version in real life, and the attention to detail is on point. He also got a set of CMT carbon covers on the fuel tank and stuff like that, which definitely added to the appearance of this bike. So this is the current look of NTK's EXE450, and some of the parts on this bike include a set of Grizzly Supermoto wheels, KTM LED headlight, CMT carbon covers, FMF full system titanium exhaust with a carbon fiber muffler, the chain, sprocket and brakes are from Motomasters, a custom nitron seat cover, a custom st stunt brake setup, a 100% custom homemade stainless steel subframe, and of course you cannot forget the next level red chrome and glitter custom bold graphics kit, really taking this bike to the next level, making it look insane. It's been an honor to have this bike here on the SNT Bike Show. Thank you, Niklas, for sending it in to the show. Third bike of the day is a Husqvarna SM125 build from Hungary. Hopefully, I pronounced that country correctly. If not, I'm sorry. So, you end up adding a lot of cool stuff to the bike, making it truly his own bike. So, some of those things include a Gianelli exhaust, hydraulic clutch, EBC brake kit. Marsochi forks, I think I pronounced that right, maybe not. Uh, Delorto 28mm carburetor, DP clutch, Vesner piston, Passasa, I never heard about that before, but Passasa, a handlebar with pro grips and a custom graphics kit to really make this bike really cool and stand out. Personally, I love the fact that you went for a clean color scheme with that black and white graphics kit with those gold details like the forks and the gas chamber thing on the shock absorber it looks really cool makes the bike stand out and still like not stick out too much if that makes sense i think it's a really cool color combo we do not have any before pictures so i can't really say anything about the transformation 
but the bike looks really good so i think you did a great job with this bike thank you so much for sending it in to the show next up we have another husqvarna this one is a 2009 wr125 from holland the unique part about this submission is that he just bought this bike and he's going to do a build on it but he has not done anything to it yet so everything is the previous owner. Normally I would not feature these type of submissions but I thought this bike looked really good and that means the previous owner must have put in some work into this bike to make it to this point so I thought why not feature this bike anyways because it looks really cool he added some good pictures and stuff like that so I thought why not add it to the show and show it off anyways. We do not have a lot of information about the parts that are on this bike, but some of the things I can tell from the pictures are a set of factory supermoto wheels. The headlight looks to be from a newer Husqvarna Enduro bike. I almost think it looks better on this old version of the Husqvarna than it does on the new one which the headlight is made to fit on. I don't know, I think it looks better, so maybe that is something to keep in mind if you're building a VR or SM125 or some other old Husqvarna, is that the newer uh, Husqvarna headlight looks really good on this bike as well, if not even better than it does on any other bike. So instead of getting a KTM headlight just like anyone and their mom has done on their bike, maybe get a newer Husqvarna headlight, which still looks really cool and makes your bike a little bit more unique and stands out more because nobody has done it like okay this guy has done it but i've never seen it before before this and it looks really good and of course the super clean fluo green and yellow graphics kit really making this bike stand out i mean i think this graphics kit looks really cool there's one thing i would have changed on this bike if i built it which is in the front you can see has dark plastics under the graphics kit which looks amazing but then when you take a look in the back he has white plastics under the graphics kit which doesn't make the fluo pop as much as it would have done with a dark base. So I would have got a dark plastic kit all the way around and then put that beautiful graphics kit on top. But still it looks really good and I'm kind of jealous of this bike. I've been looking for a nice supermoto or something, a new project for a while now. And I've never found something I really wanted to do. But this is the first bike in forever I feel like I really want to build this bike with my own touch on it. So maybe I should get a VR or SM125 and do a cool build on it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think I should get a uh, Husqvarna 125 supermodel project for the channel and do some cool stuff with it. I think we could do some crazy work with one of these bikes and I got some cool ideas now in my head. So let me know in the comment section down below should we get a Husky for the channel. I think that would be really cool. So I'm excited to see what you do with this bike. I think you have the perfect circumstances to build something amazing so i'm really excited to see what to do with this bike and once you're done make sure you send it back into the show because i would love to feature this bike again with your own touch on it so that will be exciting so make sure you send it back into the show once you're done but other than that good luck with the build and thank you so much for blessing our eyes with this beautiful husqvarna wr125 supermoto build now we have a bike that i have personally never heard about before which is a Sprint Pulsar 125 Supermoto. It started out really boring and worn out, but then he completely rebuilt the bike from the ground up, putting his own touch on the bike and making it look amazing. He painted his bike in a red and white color scheme, which looks really good and makes this bike stand out. And then he got a KTM EXE headlight to make this bike look a little bit more modern and updated. There's not much more to say about this bike, it's a clean supermoto on a unique platform. First one of its kind on this show. So thank you so much for sending it in. That was the 5 amazing bikes from this week's bike show. If you haven't already, make sure you join the squad and hit that red subscribe button. Turn it grey. We're so close to 10,000 people on this channel. It would be amazing if you could join us on the road to 10k. And eventually a road to 100,000 by maybe the end of this year. It would be really cool. So join the squad by hitting the red subscribe button and if you have not already make sure you let us know in the comment section down below which bike was your favorite but as always until next time stay awesome be positive it's been boys and t and i'll see you in the next one